So what is it that determines the sex of a child? Well, we've got two sorts of chromosomes, autosomes and gametosomes. Now the gametosomes are the sex chromosomes. X, X is going to be a female. X, Y is going to be a male. So a man is going to be 44 with an X and a Y. In other words, a man has 44 autosomes and his gametosomes are X and Y. And to reproduce with a woman, 44 X, X. So 46 chromosomes altogether, 44 of which are autosomes plus the two gametosomes or the sex chromosomes. Now, of course, in order to reproduce, the man must first make sperm. And we need 23 pairs of chromosomes in each sperm. So that's 22 autosomes. And we're going to get an X or a Y. In this case, it's an X. And again, in the other types of sperm, 22. And in this case, the other one of the homologous pair. They're not really homologous because they're not quite the same, but they do form a pair. Is going to be the Y. So one of each homologous pairs of chromosomes goes into each of the gametes. And likewise, for the female producing the ova, there's always going to be the 22 autosomes with an X in some of the ova, and in the other ova, 22 autosomes plus an X again. It's going to be the same thing. Now, is that sperm going to fertilise that ovum? That is possible. Or is that sperm going to fertilise that one? Also possible. Or is it that sperm going to fertilise that one? That is possible. Or did that sperm fertilise that ovum? There are the possibilities. So that sperm with that one or that sperm with that one. Let's work out what happens if it's this one. So we've got 22 plus 22 gives us 44 again. And there we get an X from that sperm and we get an X from that ovum. So there we have 44XX, which of course is a female. But if it was that one there, 22 and 22, gives us 44. And again, that one contains an X and that one contains an X. So that's XX again. So that's going to be a baby girl. Now that one and that one, again, it's 44. But this time we've got a Y from the father's sperm and an X from there. So that's 44YX or XY, which is a boy. Or if it was that one, that sperm there fertilising that ovum there, 44 plus a Y and an X again or an XY. So that means there's a 50% chance we're going to get a baby girl. And there is an equal 50% chance we're going to get a baby boy. So determination of sex is relatively straightforward. In essence, it's determined by whether the fertilizing sperm carries the X or carries the Y chromosome. So on average, we would expect a 50% girls, 50% boys to be born. And, uh, Long may it remain so.